Good morning. Good morning and welcome. It's Corporate Governance Platform brought to you by the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, Ixan. I am Fumi Omoburiu. The Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, Ixan, is a member of the Corporate Secretaries International Association, CSIA, a Hong Kong uh, registered global organization that's dedicated to developing and growing the study and practice of secretaryship to improve professional standards, the quality of governance practice, and also to improve organizational performance. It's, uh, the association is the global voice of corporate secretaries and governance professionals. On the program today, we're going to be looking at the rationale behind and best practices of annual evaluation of directors, board, and committees. Our guest this morning is uh, Mr. Babashegun Adewumi, FCIS, is a member, Law Reform Committee of Ixan, and also Principal Partner Shegun Adewumi Anko. Good morning, sir. Good morning for me. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you for joining us on the program this morning. Okay, also right here is Mr. Kaudi Ketefe, FCIS, his head of research, Iksan. Good morning, Mr. Ketefe. Good morning, Fumi. Good morning to you all, our listeners. All right, we're going to take this message and we'll be right back. Hey, Obina, good to see you. Uh, you look so worried. Is everything all right? I'm having serious issues in my company. Balancing the interest of my company's many stakeholders like shareholders, management, customers, financiers, governments, and communities giving us a problem. Mm, that has to do with corporate governance. Exactly. Then, you need to get in touch with ICSAN. Ixan? Yeah. Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria. ICSAN. They provide you with seasoned and top-ranking professionals trained to uphold the standards of corporate governance and efficient operations. You can also get in touch with Ixan if you want to become a chartered secretary and administrator. Contact Ixan by visiting the website www.ixan.org or call 009-06-601-69. Ixan, the hub of governance professionals. Ixan, the hub of governance professionals. Uh, like I said earlier, we're going to be looking at rationale behind and best practices of annual evaluation of directors, board, and committees. All right, uh, Mr. Deomi, let's look at it. What is the purpose of evaluation of directors? Okay, more importantly, for us to appreciate the purpose of uh, director's evaluation, we need to look at it from the perspective of the overall board evaluation. Overall board evaluation is recognized pursuant to principle 14 of the Nigerian Code of Corporate Governance, which was um, unveiled on the 15th of January 2019. The fundamental objective of an annual board evaluation basically is to assess each director of company um, in addition to uh, committees set by the board, pursuant to principle 11 of the NCCG, coupled with uh, the board itself, so that they can clearly be evaluated as regards how they have efficiently worked harmoniously with a view to achieving the corporate and lofty objective of an organization. All right. So, uh, who are those to be evaluated and in what ways is this evaluation carried out? Okay. Uh, basically, in uh, Article 14 also has some recommended practices. Okay. which are made pursuant to the unveiled uh, quote. Uh, basically, those to be evaluated includes the board itself. The board will go through uh, an evaluation process. Uh, all the directors will also go through uh, an evaluation process. All committees of the board will also go through that process. But however, and more importantly, is the fact that 
for there to be uh, a corporate evaluation, it is important that the board itself must make a cautious effort to determine the purport of the evaluation. What do they seek to achieve? The, the process of carrying out evaluation goes beyond just looking at to what extent directors or committees or the board itself has actually carried out its function effectively. It goes beyond that. They need to look at what the effect of the board dynamics that have been put in place, what effect does it have on the organization on a long-term and short-term basis? So these are the things that will be examined with a view to ascertaining to what extent has the board actually complied with the provision of the corporate governance code. Mm. Okay, talking about the code, the code provides that uh, the board should establish a system uh, to undertake a formal and rigorous annual evaluation of its own performance, uh, that of its committees, the chairman and individual directors. Now, this process should be externally facilitated uh, by an independent external consultant at least once in three years. I'm looking at you, why you think the code requires external facilitation every three years? Yes, the importance of um, external facilitation basically is uh, preceded upon the fact that if such exercise is carried out by somebody who is external, there is a presumption that there will be more independence, there will be more transparency, and the external consultant will also bring fresh ideas, fresh perspectives into the exercise. So that is the reason why an independent body was recommended as the body that will be charged with the responsibility of carrying out such evaluation, which of course is more is presumed to be more efficient, is presumed to be more effective, and is presumed to be more transparent. Now, another provision of the code is where the performance of a director is considered uh, to be unsatisfactory, uh, the board should provide appropriate training to address the identified gaps. Uh, don't you think this provision may attract additional costs for the company? No doubt. Training is not cheap. And what is the objective of training? The objective of training is to enhance the capacity. So once a training is geared towards enhancing capacity, even though cost will be expended. But again, what uh, principle 13.4 of code of corporate governance says is that, yes, training of directors should be enhanced, but such training should be done in a way that it does not affect the company's financial so much. It does not put any negative financial burden on the organization. In addition to that, even Article 13 of the Code of Corporate Governance recognizes that directors, even new directors, should be subject to training, regular training, periodic training, to enhance their capacities so that even new directors will be able to understand the fact that, yes, we need to understand what are the corporate strategy of this organization. What is the strategy? What is the overall objective of the organization? So such regular, periodic, consistent training will enhance their knowledge base and they will be able to contribute meaningfully towards achieving the laudable objective of the organization. Now, what advice uh, do you have for companies and organizations who conduct evaluation annually or periodically but uh, fail to act on the result of such exercise? The obvious advice to such organization is that they must make cautious efforts. It has implications. One of the fundamental objectives of carrying out such an exercise, post one to principle 15 of the Code of Corporate Governance, really, is to ensure the institutionalization of corporate governance principle. So it's very important. And for such organization, who carries out such as and but fail to act on it, part of the challenges they will have, it also dovetail on the probable challenges they will have with the investors. Even their relationship with shareholders might be impacted as a result of the objective of performance evaluation of the board itself is to identify gaps. So when all these gaps are identified, it stands to reason that cautious effort must be put in place to ensure the implementation of those recommendations. And for, for companies who fail, they will be seen to violate the obvious provision of the Code of Corporate Governance 2018.
All right. Thank you, Mr. Babashegun Adewumi, FCIS. Um, Mr. Katafe, let's uh, take some announcements at this time. Which one? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's quickly take an announcement and then I'll, I'll come back to definitely... Thank you very much. The announcement we have to uh, for you is on June 2021 exam examination. This is to remind our students and other interested stakeholders that the registration for June 2021 ASAN professional examination has started. Come and register now and start preparing for your examination before you know it, June 2021 is here. Besides, you can also register as a student and later register for any diet examination at your convenient time. Registration as a student is always ongoing. We also want to inform our students that the lecture for the said June 2021 diet will commence this Saturday, January 38th, 2021. For more information on issues relating to examination and registration as a student, please call this number 080 080-90-660-169. 080-90-660-169. Thank you very much. Okay, now let, let's come back to the issue of this evaluation, of course, that uh, we've been talking about. Given the importance uh, of the evaluation in the context of our uh, corporate governance, now does the Institute, talking about ICSAN, render service of conducting evaluation for companies and firms who require the service? Thank you very much for this question. ICSAN has a robust tradition of propagating knowledge on board evaluation as an important concept in corporate governance. This, of course, is to be expected. You know, it's because uh, board evaluation is all about assessing the effectiveness of the board as the engine room of corporate administration. And as it is, it is only an effective board that can instill the principles of good governance in their operations. So, many companies and firms are in the habit of contacting the institute to provide in-house lecture to their staff on how board evaluations to be conducted, which Ixan has been doing creditably. Furthermore, the Institute has also been frequently engaged to assist in actually conducting board evaluation for a number of organizations, and is still ready to offer this service to any organizations, any organization that requires it. Okay, now does Ixan also have specialized training and guidance materials on how this evaluation is to be carried out? Thank you. Ixan has been training many stakeholders on board evaluation for years, and notably, she has also been training the trainers who will train others. That is uh, our Train the Trainers uh, project. But this is just a tip of the iceberg. What we have in stock on this subject this year, 2021, is really appreciable. We have lined up a lot of workshops and training this year, among other enlightenment campaigns. Of course, the train the trainer is still on. You will be hearing about the precise dates as the time of these events draw near. We are also in the offering a number of publications on the subject for the education and enlightenment of all the stakeholders. Actually, Asian has produced guidance on board evaluation serially in the past, but like Every other area of corporate governance, board evaluation is a dynamic area. Thus, we have kept on updating our materials on the subject. As a result of this, we are producing, among other things, another guidance material on board evaluation this year. Precisely, the next edition of our company secretary handbook is dedicated exclusively to the team, board evaluation and corporate governance evaluation. We shall duly notify the public when the material is published. In addition, the Institute has in stock a number of trainings on board evaluation across many states of the Federation this year. We are using this medium to invite interested stakeholders to this serial training. We shall be announcing each of, the, uh, each of them at the date draws near. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Katefe, CIS, the head of research, Ixan, and also our guest this morning, uh, Mr. Baba Shegwadiumi, FCIS, member law reform committee and principal partner, Shegwadiumi and Coates. We want to have a new gentleman on the program this morning. Thank you very much. All right. That's it this morning on uh, corporate governance.
platform brought to you by the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria. The program returns next week, Wednesday, 10.15 a.m. Right here on Equator 9.7 FM. I am Fumi Omoburio. Enjoy the rest of the day. Hey, Obina, good to see you. Uh, you look so worried. Is everything all right? I'm having serious issues in my company. Balancing the interests of my company's many stakeholders like shareholders, management, customers, financiers, governments, and communities giving us a problem. Mm, that has to do with corporate governance. Exactly. Then, you need to get in touch with ICSAN. ICSAN? Yeah, Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, ICSAN. They provide you with seasoned and top-ranking professionals trained to uphold the standards of corporate governance and efficient operations. You can also get in touch with Ixan if you want to become a chartered secretary and administrator. Contact Ixan by visiting the website www.ixan.org or call 009-06-601-69. Ixan, the hub of governance professionals.